Well, good morning, Dean from Durban. Yesterday I posted about the process that the Holy Spirit does in us as He forms Christ in us, as we are transformed into the image and likeness, and the reality of being made to see through revelation the issues that are affecting us in our mind, in our thinking patterns, the emotional life, and clearly our will at times is determined by the flow of that. And, um, you know, we can unpack scriptures and, 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 and there's a measure of understanding as we, as we see the scriptures new, particularly as we've been learning about plan A. I mean, what was God's plan right from the beginning and the processes that he went through, the steps that he took to bring it to pass and is still taking. So I wanted to make it real. Um, because this is true for, for all of us in different aspects. So when I was a young man, young, young, young man, I was woken up from my sleep um, because my parents were having a vigorous debate or shall we say an argument or a fight. And the issue was money. Uh, clearly there was pressure coming on the finances of the family as more and more kids were born and they were having a serious fight because my mom was saying she needed to go to work and my father in his Afrikaans upbringing was going, the man works and the woman stays at home. Now that had to be resolved somewhere and of course it was resolved. Uh, my mother did start working. Now <clears throat> the, the issue here is that a deep fear and insecurity was lodged in my heart and became a program that would run through my life. The fear of not having enough, the fear of lack of money, and it was associated with work. You worked to resolve that issue, which as we know is a Genesis, Genesis 3 issue, right? So <clears throat> how does that affect me? Well, I come to Christ. And in speaking through the Lord, when I was leaving national service, he told me, I want you to preach and to teach. Now, well, that involves living by faith, right? And trusting God. Well, there's a program running in my heart, isn't it? It hasn't been dealt with, right? And there's this fear that God can't provide for me. And that, I used to verbalize it. You see, what you what is in your heart, you verbalize, you confess it. I used to confess that. Well, I can believe God for everything else, but for finance, I can't. For that, I must work. And so there was this dichotomy in my life. I'm trusting God, but I'm not trusting God. Because, yeah, if it was the devil, right, he causes a breach in trust, a breach in my reliance on God. Because I believe to provide, I must work. And so it's taken this long period of time. And only now, as I began to seriously work with the Holy Spirit, to live the life of Christ by faith, and to put off and to put on, well, that surfaces, right? Because you see, that affected my will. When God was saying, I need you to submit to my will, I wouldn't. And I couldn't. Because inside of that heart was this mistrust. This inability to rely on God. Running in the background. And it took God working through the Holy Spirit to bring me to the place to say, well, there's my fear. And I'll release the fear so that my heart can believe. And so that was a long process with me. Could it have been done earlier? I'm not sure. But for the Holy Spirit to imprint Christ in me, Whatever's foreign to Christ, 
must be exposed in our life. Must. However painful it is, the inability to trust and rely on, on, on the Christ man, the Holy Spirit's got to deal with it. And so um, I had to come to a decision to say, here I am, God, ready to do your will. I lay down the fear and its responses in me. And I don't care what the circumstances look like. I don't care what uh, the external environment is like. I'm going to trust you for finance. And that is a decision in all other areas of our life. We, we, we find there's these stumbling blocks that have, that have uh, been hidden away. But as the washing of the word and the regenerating work of the Holy Spirit is effective in us, as he's quickening us, well, these things that are lodged there have to surface. I hope that I hope that explains it better.